So the lady here in this bar is telling us we have to go to Ushkuri. Is that right? Yes, you have to go. Some people have said that you can't go there without a 4x4. Four four. There is a river running across the road next to a, a shed drop. Oh, Marianne. We're Marianne and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since 2018. We're currently spending a few weeks in the country of Georgia. A country with fantastic mountain views, crazy roads, and even crazier driving. You can't see, what is that? And let's not forget unusual architecture, delicious food, and cows on the road. So after the conversation in the bar, we are in Trudy and we are off to Ushkuli. Ushkuli is a very remote uh, Georgian village right up in the mountains near the Russian border. She said you can drive there in about an hour and a half or you can hike and if you hike it should take you about four days. Some people have said that you can't go there without a 4x4. Four four. The lady in the bar said it's alright apart from 9 kilometers. So we're just going to give it a go and we will see what happens. And we can always turn around right if it gets too bad. More beautiful views, look at this. Doesn't take long to find cows on the road. Or if you don't want to hike and you don't want to walk, you can always get on your horse. Little monuments by the side of the road where uh, people have obviously tragically died in accidents so it just shows you that if you do come on these roads please drive carefully first bit no, of dodgy no, road no, no, no. You have to wait. You have to wait. <laughs> 35 kilometers to go okay it's the first bit of water we've got to go over it's a bit of a river thing going on there. We've just uh, come to a junction. One went down along the river and one is coming slightly up the hill. Google Maps doesn't actually show which, uh, show two roads. We've chosen one and we'll just have to, uh, to see what happens. We just stopped two cars, one was full of tourists, the second one was a local guy, we were like, Ushkuli, is it this way? He was like, yeah, just keep going straight. We're going up, up and away. How high are we now? We are 1,810 meters high and still going up. Looking at the road ahead, it looks like uh, a kid's just scribbled on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Put your wellies on folks, it's gonna get messy. And we're starting the squiggly roads because we're going all the way down to the bottom down there somewhere. Trudy doesn't normally like going downhill too much because her brakes get very hot, so slow and steady. it down to the bottom of the, uh, the hill here we're in the valley just coming into another lovely looking uh, village proper rural georgia here it's a really really nice drive again today through these valleys more cows on the road but you can't stand right in the middle of the road yes i can where there's nothing underneath the edge is a bit concerning. Obviously uh, collapsed there over the years. Oh, another bit of the road washed away. It's gone. The river. Oh, it is a river. Oh, oh wow, a little bit of a scrape there. 
Okay, 15 kilometers to go, 45 minutes. The roads are still looking okay. A little dodgy bit of road. That's how they construct the roads. They got wooden shutter in, they pour the cement in, some metal rods and just do it in two halves. But I think that is the end of the road, I would say. I think the rest of it's down dirt tracks. It's coming into a little village here. I think it's a pit stop for hikers, maybe. It's a little village shop or village shed. Look at that. <laughs> we'll just keep on following the road. Slow and steady, as Trudy does. Pigs and cows in the road. All right, cow, out the way. You gotta go out the way, you're not moving. Oh, they're so lazy, they just don't move. Some of these roads might be a bit dodgy if it rains and uh, they do forecast rain quite heavy rain tomorrow so you might need a bit of a wash by the end oh my lord it's a bit muddy no we're yeah. definitely not a four by four not a four by four definitely not i wouldn't go anymore you won't get through Gamma Jobba! Gamma <laughs> Trudy's doing a bit of skidding. Oh, that's better, it's dried up now. The road is definitely getting a little bit worse. That was a bit of a scrape. Oh, sorry Trudy. Oh my God! What road? Are you, you going to get... Yeah, you're... Oh my. Are you sure? As long as we're slow. But I thought that was already done, the bad bit. No, it's, it gets worse. They said oh. it gets, the further you go, the worse it gets. <laughs> That's what you need, a little four by four bongo. Oh my God. Slow and steady, Marianne. Don't stop. <laughs> a little bit of a puddle. Hopefully it's not like the Vicar of Dibley. You see a lot of these uh, towers in uh, all of the villages and towns in uh, this region. They're actually defensive towers. There's a lot of uh, vehicle 4x4s ferrying up and down here. I think a lot of them are taking tourists maybe up there for the day to the villages or picking up hitchhikers at the end of their hikes. Oh goody, warning, falling rock signs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might be pushing Trudy a little bit today. I'm not sure whether the GoPro stabilization's working, but it's a little bit bumpy today. This road would definitely be a nightmare when it's been raining. What kind of road is this? Gamajoba! Warning falling stones. Holy schmoly. Holy schmoly. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 Marianne. Who said the roads in Georgia weren't that good? Oh, no. Oh, uh oh. I hope this bridge is strong enough. These roads up here today are pretty crazy. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> 
see there's a shade. Don't put the camera over there because there's a shade drop. There's a shade drop over don't there. Look, don't look. I have to be honest people, these are the worst roads we have been on so far. Oh my god, look at this road. There is a river running across the road next to a, a shed drop and I'm holding my breath look at these roads oh no I don't know what happens now okay we've come across a car where, where do you go is there a car behind you yeah, there's one behind me oh, oh he's gonna oh, go there okay, okay. Okay, edge over to the left. What is he doing? I'm not really sure, but my engine is steaming. Your temperature's all right. My temperature's, it's because I just went through the water. Oh, that's okay. I'm not sure what they're doing. Being rocks so he can get over. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, like guys, have you seen the drops like just there? But there's two cars up there. What are they doing? They're just waiting. Okay. Is there okay? Good, good, very good. Thank you. Gamma good, good, very good. Hello, um, so there must be a passing place further up. Okay, where are you going? Thank you! <laughs> Madlova! We're alive! I'm gonna let the little truck behind me go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is the worst bit of the road. I think, I hope. Haram Tepe, the T road in Turkey, I have to be honest. I think, look at that! I think, I think we may have found the worst road. A Dutch vehicle! Is it Dutch? Yeah! Hey! Dewey! Dewey! <laughs> oh, the road started to look normal now. Normal dirt track, rather than I'm gonna die on the edge of a cliff dirt track. Okay, now we're heading up the side of the mountain. We've gone away from the river, but it's wider here, it's all good. We feel much happier, I think, at the moment. What makes me laugh is that there's, they're all four by fours. They're all overlanding four by four vehicles, and they're all laughing at us because we're in a 17 year old two wheel drive Fiat Takato called Trudy that's covered in flowers. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's getting worse! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> my heart's just missing beats, beats, a lot of beats. Oh! Look! I knew there was a reason we put new springs and we complained when Trudy was lifted up and now we are immensely happy aren't we Marianne and we're still scraping but it's starting to get pretty my anxiety levels are starting to lower oh look <laughs> oh, this is starting to look very beautiful Right way, doesn't that mean? What, what does that mean? There's a sign that says right way. Or is that the right road? 
Head east towards ugly DJ Vari Mestralastili. This is beautiful rural Georgia, this is. Got the guys uh, working in the fields there. Okay, it's only a little Ford. We're all good. We're all good. That is a beautiful village. Look at that. that We're going through a village. Oh my. Oh my lord. Come Jobba. Have to just keep following it round. There's a hotel there. I keep going round. Oh, you're joking. Oh, hold on. You, you, I can't you, go no, there. stop. That's it. End of the road. Okay, so it's official. That road, which said the right road was the wrong road because the road ended up being. So narrow between the houses, there is not a chance in hell that Trudy would get through it. Okay, we are back to the junction, the left and the right. We've tried the right, so now we need to try the left. A bit more. Whoa! Okay, we did it. 20 point turn, but we did it. Okay, we're going to try the left road now and see what happens. A little bit of a ravine in the road. So that's the village that we just tried to drive through down this road and uh, the, where we're going is the next town right at the end there. it's too tight in the village to do anything so we are gonna turn round reverse back and turn round and uh, we're gonna find somewhere to park up on the road down there if you go back you might level yourself there that looks level okay we're gonna pop into town have a little look around try and get some food try and find a beer and uh, just be thankful to be alive. I think if you walk up here, it's going to be less muddy. There's a little footpath up here, love. Doing a few wrong turns today. There was a marsh. There was a bog. You can't walk that way. Back to the road. It's a little bit muddy. Listen to the force of that water. Even this high up in the mountain, it's roaring down. There's a mobile cell tower. You wouldn't expect to see one here. So there's obviously internet. There you go, cafe bar. Well, after that mad drive, we've put <laughs> into this lovely restaurant place um, to have beer and food. We've got a nice salad here and then here we've got family style potatoes. With chicken. chicken. Look at that. I haven't seen it mixed like that. That looks amazing. Mm. 
but we were told that Kubdari, this is the home of Kubdari. So we This have is to the try dish. It. And this is where it's from. And this is what we had in uh, Batumi. And they said we had to come here to have it. Lumps of meat and bread. Oh, it's all buttery. Oh, that is truly delicious. And that is one portion. That is enough for two at least. Anyway, people, we will see you in a minute. Okay, so this is the reason Marianne wouldn't let me finish my chicken because <laughs> she's found a beast of a dog. You're the size of a bear. I've actually Googled him and he is a Georgian shepherd dog. He's huge. He's huge and he's got the most beautiful yellow eyes. He's like a uh, big bear, aren't you? And you ate half of my dinner, but it looked like you could have eaten all of it. Wasn't that just a crazy day? We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please click that subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up. We will see you on the next episode. There's plenty more crazy stuff here in Georgia to come. <laughs>